It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Let's get out of here. I. Hey everyone, it's Aaron from God a Minute, Jesus Christ, the genealogy here, the son of David, Matthew 1.1. 1, 1. Yeah, he's from the line of David. Uh, they expect, Israel expects their Messiah to come from the son of David. And so we'll pause there. We'll go to the chart here. These charts I pulled up from last year, they're still relevant. You're going to have to use your imagination with the numbers. And, you know, there's so many discrepancies with the calendars and everything. So um, here's the point. King David died, I think, a perfect 1,000 years from the year of the cross. This is, the black is what I had written last year. This is what I wrote this year. I don't know if Jesus died in 30, 31, or whatever it is. Either way, you slice the cake. If you look at some uh, articles, you'll see different dates of when King David died. But this is just a ballpark number. Uh, when we get up to, to the clouds, I'm sure God's going to explain this all, and it's going to look perfect. But for now, uh, just use your imagination. Allow a, w a year or two of wiggle room in, in this uh, explanation. So King Di David dies about 1,000 years before the cross. And King David dies about 3,000 years before the second coming. Isn't that perfect? And also, King David died right in the middle of the 6,000-year plan. So if creation or Adam, his sin was around one of those years, uh, then King David dies right in the middle of the, that 6,000-year plan from, from sin to second coming. Boom, King David. And like I said, the genealogy of King David uh, or Jesus, he comes from the line of King David. And if we go to the Bible and just read a couple more things here, uh, this is when the blind, the two blind men receive their sight, but what are they yelling? Hey, Jesus, son of David, you know, son of David, oh Lord, please heal us, that kind of thing. And then when he's coming in, uh, triumphal entry, Hosanna to the son of David, and they're getting mad, and they just keep on yelling, Hosanna to the son of David. And when the Pharisees challenge him, Jesus uh, says, hey, what do you think about the Christ, the Messiah? Okay, so Christ means Messiah. So whose son is he? They said, well, He's the son of David. So the Pharisees knew that the Messiah, the Christ, was going to come from the line of David. And then, of course, Jesus quotes Psalm 110. Uh, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. If David then calls him Lord, how is he his son? So um, they were stumped. But the point is, Jesus, his identity is the son of David. And that's what they expect. That's what Israel expects. And that's what why I expect the the seed from the king of David to come at the second coming. And then they're going to look at him whom they pierced. Oh, man, okay, Jesus was our Messiah. We just missed it when he first came. We were blinded. So, again, um, King David died about 1,000 years before the cross and 3,000 years before the second coming, whenever that is. But it looks like we're running out of runway space for this to make logical sense. Uh, here's some other charts from last year that I wanted to pull up. And I, I was pretty... Um, I was pretty transparent, like, like, okay, it might have been 1408 that they crossed the Jordan. It might have been 1407 that they crossed Jordan. It might have been 1406 that they crossed the Jordan. And even last year, I was counting zero. This year, I might not even consider counting zero. So if, even if it, was, if it was 1406, it could point to 2024. Uh, and here's why. Uh, I'll go to this chart. So, um, so, yeah, so Joshua brings them over the Jordan. And then they meet the commander of the Lord in chapter 5, I believe. And um, and then they, 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 do, they walk around Jericho seven times, all the sevens in that story. And then there's a, boat, there's a bit of war for about seven years. And then that's when they enter the promised land officially after the seven years of war. So we have a typology of, of a rapture and a seven-year tribulation in the story of uh, Joshua bringing them over to the Jordan, circling Jericho, having seven years of war and then the division of the land for the promised land. And so if they crossed over the Jordan in 1407 or 1406, that would put that back that up uh, maybe to 1400 or even 1399. And you got a perfect cycle of seven cycles of 490, seven times 70, right? So uh, did I, yeah, I just showed you that. So seven times 70 is 3,430. And uh, it's, it's seven cycles until the second coming, whenever that is, okay? So it still fits like a glove. It still fits perfect. We just don't really know our exact, exact year. So we don't really know if it's 1408 or 1406, etc. Just dug this chart up. This one is looking at uh, 1446 as the first Passover. Uh, you know, 
So you minus 40 years from that, that's 1406. Uh, you know what I mean. It's just one of those things where you, you, you can see all these gra graphs and charts and, it, and you can find different year counts. Uh, the point is there's a, still a perfect cycle from all that. But we're just running out of you know, runway space for that to make sense. And so looking at this old chart from last year and you just adjust the numbers a little bit, um, we have, again, um, David. Oh, yeah, he, was, he ruled over... Uh, Hebron or what's this seven again let me just take a look at what, what I wrote here last year alright I checked out 2 Samuel 12 18 I'm not quite sure what I was what connection I made last year other than the fact that David fasted for seven days for his child and then his child died right so uh, maybe I was just doing a connection with a seven year tribulation as seven, seven days of grieving that might have been it but ne nevertheless uh, this is just another chart to um, say that oh yeah the davidic covenant so there's a davidic covenant god's promising uh, a seed to david in um or where is it now is it second samuel yeah se second samuel 7 the davidic covenant right there if you want to read that but that's just saying you know what the messiah is going to come through your line essentially and so if jesus died in 30 or 31 um however you look at it and whenever king david died 970 or 969 or whatever it was we're still in an amazing window of time um for this all to make sense and again if jesus died in 2033 that's really the last year for this to all kind of tie together until we just really unravel a lot of math and, and it, a lot of things just don't make any sense so um, get tight with Christ, the Son of David, the Messiah, the Christ, the Anointed One. He is the only one. He is the only way. He's the, he's the truth, the life. And uh, hope you get tight with Christ soon. And go, Jesus, go.